Well, VDOT and the city told me they are spending time today going around checking storm drains like this one to make sure they are clear of any debris to try to prevent flooding from this tropical storm. Two years ago, right around this time in September, a large rainstorm struck Richmond. The rain caused massive flooding on I-95 through the city when debris from a car got logged into the mouth of a drain. It also led to flooding on city streets like this one in the fan outside the Village Cafe. At the time, city officials said the city's stormwater system is not designed to handle that much rain in such a short period of time. It'll go over there and then all the way back there. Not a surprise to city resident Rachel Neese, who says she has watched the intersection at Monument Avenue and Shepherd Street flood over and over again for over four years. It comes all the way up to like the cars and it's just pretty terrible. <laughs> Even just last week, someone submitted a request to the Richmond 311 system to clear a clogged storm drain here that has quote been like this for months. Nice says she anticipates the flooding here Saturday. 100% yeah, so that's pretty bad. The city says it's cleaning clogged storm drains in stormwater hotspots throughout the city, and it's encouraging residents and businesses to keep drains free of debris. As of Friday afternoon, out of 28 clear drain requests submitted by residents in the city since August 1st, 10 of them had been completed. Meanwhile, VDOT says its crews are inspecting and clearing low-lying and vulnerable drainage structures on state-maintained roads. VDOT also told me they will have pump trucks ready to address any high water issues on our interstates during this storm. I'm Melissa Hippolyte for CBS 6.